close your eyes and take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. How does deep breathing feel? If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Make the breath shorter, more shallow, lighter, or you can make it heavier. Try to adjust the breath so it feels good all the way down through the torso. You're trying to create a place for the mind to stay right here, because everything important in your life is happening right here. Things in the past are, are past. You can't go back and change them. As for the future, it's uncertain. But what you do know, you, whatever happens in the future, you're going to need a lot more mindfulness and a lot more discernment. So that's what we develop as we meditate. That's what we're doing right here. It's right here that we're making choices. Past choices are done. Future choices are you don't even know what they're going to be. But you don't know that you can choose to be more mindful right now, more alert right now. Mindfulness means keeping something in mind. Alertness means watching what's actually going on. And then you try to bring some discernment to this. What's the best way to get the mind to settle down so you can be right here, so you can see your choices as they're being made? And then you can decide whether they're being made well or not. Otherwise, they tend to get shut it off to the lower echelons, down inside the mind in areas where there's not much light, and you don't really know what's going on. Many times you'll do or say something, and people will ask you, why did you do that? Why did you say that? And you say, well, gee, I don't know. It just felt like saying it. Well, why did you feel like saying it? There was a series of decisions that were being made under the surface. And with meditation, things calm down, and you can see what's going on under the surface a lot more clearly. It's like water in a, in a pool. If the waves are disturbed, you can't really see clearly what's down on the bottom of the pool. But when the water is clear and still, okay, then you can see, oh, there's this and that. And you can see whether you're making wise choices right now or unwise choices. And if they're not wise choices, you can undo them. So you want to be right here, because this is the most important place to be. As for the future, you do know a couple things, that there will be more aging, there will be more illness, and there will be, there will be death at some point. Are you prepared for that? We're going to need mindfulness and discernment for that as well. So this is the best way to prepare for the future at the same time you're looking after the present. To try to get a sense of how you can stay here with a sense of ease and stability, so that whatever choices are being made about what you're going to do or say or think, they're made in the full light of day. And you can see clearly what's right and what's wrong, what's motivating the choices, and you can have some anticipation of where they're going to go. That's how you begin to take charge of your life.